It is said that that which happens in dark eventually comes to light. The darkest of the darkest is the triple darkness. To understand the triple darkness, one must first understand that there is nothing that is actually done in the darkness that is not already known by the light. There is not a darkness that exists that encompasses, diminishes, overbears, annihilates the light. The light, of course, being truth. All things that happen are known by truth. All things that happen can only happen through truth. This, that darkness that is really being spoken of when they say that which happens in the dark when it comes to light is actually only the darkness of one's ignorance, one's lack of knowing of the truth but the truth knows the truth is the eternal light it is only because of the light that there is darkness Within our physical realm, we hold that really that darkness is pretty much the originator, initiator, that which existed before light because it is held that for some, whether it is religious or scientific, that at one time there was no light. The light was created. But of course we're talking of the physical light. And not the pure light of God. That which shows and shone upon everything that which makes everything clearly seen that light that light which is of God which is God which is truth that's what that, that, that light there is no darkness only in a hypothetical sense. Technical sense, but not in a real sense. For this light which is of God, which is God, <laughs> once again, it can never be snuffed out. Thus, when we come to that triple darkness, that which is the darkest of the dark, the darkest of the dark, is the understanding that it applies to 
the Trinity aspect of God. There's a Trinity that's someone you know that's with is with within the quote unquote Christian religion. And those offshoots. However, the, tr the Trinity that I have presented to you is a Trinity of truth, love, and belief. Uncompromising truth, unconditional love, unequal belief. The Trinity of those aspects of God which brings about our salvation which fully empowers us if we were to utilize it being uncompromising in all aspects of life of existence of all there is because all there is is truth And even one is unable to see this. If one does, have, does, not have, does not have the vision, if the not, light has not shone upon the eyes, it is the belief in truth. Because truth shows its power. So it's believing in extending the power fully and seeing that truth has might over all. So it's believing in truth, believing in the spirit of truth, believing in that which truth brings you, does for you, believing in the salvation, the saving grace, the power and glory of truth. And loving it, loving it with all your heart, soul, mind, soul, and strength with everything. Loving truth. Why? Because truth is your salvation. Unconditionally loving others as there's no conditions on how truth is applied to you. The love that truth gives to you, which is just the truth of you, the truth of all. And you applying that saying to others and accepting the truth of who they are, what they are, the truth of all that is. There is no conditions for truth. As truth is, it is unconditional. The truth is there no matter what. There's no conditions. Conditions are made determined by truth. And it's those who do not see this, those who are not within this. Well, it's those who are in the triple darkness. The darkest of the dark. darkest which is the brightest for it is the light which allows that darkness it is for the light that there is that darkness and yet that darkness is only within you.